Good morning. We are going to focus on um, neck pain and stretching out the neck a little bit this morning. So if you are in a lot of pain, um, back off on any stretches. If it, it's supposed to feel good, it's not supposed to feel painful. Um, a little bit of stretch might, might in, you know, a little bit of pain, but you know your body the best. So you know when you need to stop and when you need to back off. You can always come back into a seat, comfortable seated position or a child's pose or whatever makes you feel the most comfortable. Um, we're not going to get off the mat on this in this session, um, so it'll be pretty pretty easy, pretty low key. So first, I just want you to take a few minutes to close down your eyes. You can rest your hands comfortably on your legs, your knees, your thighs, and just start to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Feel your breath come into your body and leave your body. And check, your, check how you're sitting. See, you should be sitting up straight, spine straight, almost like you have a string attached to your head. So feel that string pulling you up. You wanna keep your spine as neutral as possible. Continue to breathe and then start to take longer breaths. And recognize that there might be sounds around you. And try to tune those out. Soften your shoulders, bring them down away from your ears. Soften your jaw. Soften your forehead. And that little spot in between your eyebrows where you worry. Relax the base of your neck and then where your neck and your head meet. And slowly bring your arms up overhead for seated sun salutation. Palms are facing each other and then bring your shoulders down away from your ears. And then if it's available to you, look up. Give your neck a little good morning stretch. Look down. Bring your chin back to neutral. And take your right wrist with your left hand. And Come over to the left for a side body stretch. This gentle one. And then look down at your, towards your left armpit at the floor. And you should feel a nice stretch in the back of your neck on the right side. Make sure you're breathing, Just deep inhales and deep exhales. And then look up towards your elbow. And come back to center. Release your arms, bring them down. And take a round of breath. Inhale. Exhale. And on your inhale, bring your arms back up, palms facing each other. 
Take your left wrist in your right hand. Come over to the right side for a side body stretch. Look down towards your right armpit at the floor. Breathing into that next stretch. Look up towards your elbow. Bring your chin back to neutral and release your hands. Bring your hands down to your thighs. If that's a little rough on your neck, you shake your shoulders out a little bit, move your head side to side. And then take your right hand, take your right hand behind your right hip with your fingers tinted. And then look over, sorry, and then look, and then look behind your shoulder towards the backs of the, your right shoulder. So your left hand can be on your thigh, on your knee, on your lap, wherever is comfortable, but your torso is squared off. Make sure you're breathing. Release your hand. And come over to the left side. Left hand behind your left hip. Right hand comfortable. And then look behind you. That right shoulder, left shoulder. Come back to center and then just do some gentle shoulder shrugs, shoulders up towards your ears, and slide down your back. You can feel your shoulder blades pinch together a little bit. On your inhale, bring them up. And on your exhale, bring them down, releasing any more tension. Bring, come back to center, relax your shoulders, and then you're gonna bring them the other direction. So you're gonna bring them up towards the front, towards your ears, down, down your chest. Inhale up, and on your exhale down. Rest down, take a round of breath. And I want you to bring your pointer fingers, your knuckles, your pointer fingers to your eyebrows, to the inside of your eyebrows. And I want you to make sure you're sitting up straight and I want you to gently rub those knuckles across your, the tops of your eyebrows down to your temples, but be very gentle on your temples. 
So you're not applying too much pressure, but enough. If you've got any sinus pressure or headache pressure, it might start to pull that tension out and relieve. Make sure you're keeping your neck neutral. You're not tucking your chin or looking up. You're keeping your chin facing forward. Just keep massaging that area with your knuckles. Bring those knuckles down to your jaw, right around the area where your cheekbones and your jaw meet. Just give that area a little bit of a massage with your knuckles. Try and relax your jaw. You can bring your tongue to the top of your mouth or use it to part your teeth just a little bit. If you're not, your fingers start to get tired, you can always bring three fingers here. And just use them to get that same effect and then you get a little bit more into that area. Start to massage around your jaw a little bit more. Down towards your chin. Back up. And then bump back around to the base of your neck. Using those three fingers or your knuckles, whatever's comfortable for you. And just give that area where your neck and your head meet. Your neck spends a lot of time keeping your, keeping your head up. Get some love and attention. And then use those knuckles. You can use one or you can use two to just kind of rub down through your neck. Come on the sides. You can do one side at a time. Come around the back a little bit. Release a little bit of that lymphatic area. The other side. Make sure you're keeping your jaw soft and your forehead soft. Bring both hands, just gently bring your thumbs underneath your chin, right at the base, and push into your chin. Let your shoulders be soft and take some deep, deep inhales and exhales here. Feel any tension anywhere in your neck and your back. Try to send some breath to it. Relax that tension. Release your hands. We're going to do a little bit, um, we've been doing a little bit of what's called Kundalini Yoga. Um, kundalini is a lot of breath work. Um, they it's used a lot um, to strengthen the facial muscle, muscles to um, increase collagen in the face. Um, so 
I'm going to try first. You're going to lift your chin just a little bit, and you're going to take your fingers, and you're going to push right underneath your collarbone. So not too hard, but enough pressure so that, you know, you feel it, maybe stimulate the muscles a little bit. You can tell, like, maybe feel around if there's any sore spots. Then lift your neck just a little bit and bring your tongue to the top, to the roof of your mouth. On your inhale. On your exhale, let it relax. And then on your inhale, kind of push it back up into your into the roof of your mouth. Just doing this strengthens the muscles around that tongue and it strengthens the muscles right in here in our throats that we don't really pay that much attention to. You can release whenever you're ready. In Kundalini, people often do that for three to 12 minutes, which is a very long time. But you really notice like your, your tongue and those muscles in your mouth start to strengthen. We're going to do one more Kundalini. Um, can you curl your tongue, Jamie? Okay, all right. Can, is it possible? I can't see you. Can you do yep. it? Okay. Uh huh. So even if you can't do it, you can do this without actually curling it, but you can just try to move those muscles into that shape if you can. So curl your tongue and then you inhale like a straw through your tongue and you exhale through your nose. So it might make a little whistling sound. You might even feel the muscles around here start to twitch a little bit. It's called an aura facial. And this is one that people really um, recommend for pro um, producing coll helping produce collagen in the face. And so it can be kind of hard to do at first when you first start doing it, but it, um, it, I find it very relaxing and it really kind of eases tension for me. Just something about that um, breath coming in, I feel it cool, the cooler breath and then the warmer air coming out the nose. So it's again, that's something that you work up to and it's recommended that you do it for, you know, three, three to 12 minutes, which is a very long time. So <laughs> I think that takes practice. <laughs> Um, so we kind of worked, worked on our face a little bit. We're going to just work out our jaw a little bit more. So just make sure your shoulders are relaxed and your neck is relaxed. And then just kind of side to side, move your jaw just with your mouth barely open. Just enough so that you can feel those jaw muscles moving. I don't know if you notice mine, mine's really shaking because I carry a lot of tension in my jaw.
if you need to, you can just kind of rub that out if it's sore. And then we're just gonna take some gentle cats and seated cats and cows. So on these, I want you to be careful with your neck. You don't have to move it as much as you would as in a traditional cat and cow. You really go up, you really go down, but you, your hands are on your knees or on your thighs and you open up your chest, pull your shoulders back so that your shoulder blades feel like they're meeting and you're coming up. Gently bending the neck up on your inhale and on your exhale, you're rounding your back and separating your shoulder blades and looking down, chin to chest. Let's take about 10 breaths. Try to keep your shoulders soft and your forehead softened and relaxed. You'll notice you'll be able to look up a little bit more as you go, as you warm up those muscles around the neck and in the back that are supporting that neck. And this is something you can do anytime, anywhere, in a chair at work, standing on the floor. You don't have to be sitting down. You can stand and just pull your arms back and forward. Inhale, open, exhale, round. And then we're going to come, bring your knees underneath you, your feet, you're kind of sitting on your feet. And then sit up straight. This is called Hero's Pose. And we're gonna take a little bit of movement here, a little bit of twist movement. So put your hands on your shoulders and on your inhale, come to the right. On your exhale, come to the left. Okay, and we're gonna do it a little bit quickly. It's gonna be a little bit more uh, quick breathing than you're used to, so. start to feel lightheaded, you can always slow it down. Or if you're like me and your feet start to fall asleep in this pose, you can always sit down. <laughs> and come back to center. Just take one more deep inhale and exhale. You might feel a little bit lightheaded to neutralize that. We're going to come back. We're going to go to the other side. So on your inhale, you're going to come to the left. And on your exhale, you're going to come to the right.
Try to keep your shoulders soft. And your hands shot soft on your shoulders. Try to keep that spine neutral. And come back to center. Let your hands rest and your shoulders relax and reactivate your breathing. Now we're gonna if you're uncomfortable in the hero's pose, you can always come back to a seated position. So you're just going to rest your hands on your legs. And we're going to do slower inhales and exhales, bringing our shoulders up towards our ears and then back down. So you're not so much as focusing on the rolling in or out. You're just bringing them up and you're bringing them down. So on your inhale, bring your shoulders up towards your ears. And on your exhale, release them down. Really shake out those shoulders. Shake out any tension you might feel. Or come back onto a comfortable seated position. So now we're going to do a little bit of neck stretching. So you can bring your right ear to your right shoulder, keeping your shoulders down. Keeping your deep inhales and exhales going. If you need more of a stretch, you can bring your right hand up to your head and gently pull your ear toward, closer towards your shoulder. But if this is enough for you right here, stay right here. Gently bring your head back to center, keeping your chin neutral. Big inhale, and on your exhale, take it over to the left side. Again, if you need more of a stretch, you can bring your hand on top of your head. Gently press down.
Bring back, back to center. Bring your chin to your chest. Stretching the back of your neck. Keeping your shoulders soft and your spine straight. Back back to center. We're going to do some gentle roll. Hold on your inhale, you're going to bring your, your neck or your ear over to your shoulder, and then on your exhale, you're going to roll to one side. Take an inhale and then roll to the other side. And you can do these as small as just looking over if, if rolling is too much from side to side. And just look back and forth. Or you can go down with your chin towards your chest if that's comfortable for you. It will be really easy to slap into this position. Try to keep your spine straight. Try to keep your jaw relaxed. Bring your neck back to center when you're ready. Take one more, two more, whatever you need. Seated cats. Opening on your inhale. Bending your back on your exhale. Releasing any tension you might feel in that neck and that upper back. Come back to center. Shake it out if you need to. Take any last poses that you feel like you might need. And then gently relax down onto your mat in Shavasana. So you might want to take a forward bend for you do. Um, you can, you've worked your back a little bit in the, in the cats and cows. So if you want to take a forward bend, your legs are straight, your feet are flexed. Just gently fold your nose towards your knees. And let your back relax. Sometimes when you throw neck work, neck work, that might be a little too much. So you just come straight down into Shavasana. Your legs out wide. Your arm, palms up. Your shoulders are heavy on the mat. Let your breathing return to normal. Think about how wonderful it is that you took this time for you today. Do something for yourself.
Try to relax your shoulders a little more. Soften your jaw. Soften that worry spot in between your eyebrows. body get as heavy and still as you can. mind starts to wander, bring it back to your breath. Feeling your breath come in your body, go out of your body. Start to feel the cool air on your skin. Just notice it. Notice how it makes your body feel. Very gently start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Waking yourself up. Letting your body know it's time to move again. And send your arms overhead, your legs long. Front full but a good morning stretch. Pointing your toes, waxing your feet, pointing your toes, and relaxing back down. When you're ready, roll on to one side, whatever is most comfortable, cradling your head and your arm. And keeping your eyes closed, push yourself up to a comfortable seated position.
A big inhale and bring your arms up to the sky, palms facing. Bring your palms together and exhale down to your chest. Take a big inhale, love for yourself. Big open mouth exhale, love for others. The light within me sees the light within you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this Thank helped. Thank you.